everybody, Steve here, and we're back. And today, this is part three of the winterized electrolyte solution denatured alcohol result testy thingy. So, uh, we saw in the last video how uh, with the denatured alcohol solution with 20%, along with our normal electrolyte, it looked like kind of like yellow pea. <laughs> I mean, there's just no other word to, to that describes the color and, I mean, just nails it 100%. But that's what it looked like. And remember, we had to add a lot more sodium hydroxide uh, to get it back up to the operating amperage that we wanted. Uh, and anyway, so I let the cell run for, I'd say, about 45 minutes to an hour. Then I let it sit. And then, of course, you know, I did my graveyard shift thing, came back and slept and came into the lab here and I wanted to show you something pretty interesting uh, and there it is so instead of the it's like dark pee that went bad I mean this looks like the stuff that was uh, uh, wow I mean that, that looks like the stuff that I did on that other video where I tested out uh, uh, salt and baking soda and in AOH, so I mean, obviously, there are some impurities. <clears throat> now, I charged up the battery, and here's what we're going to do is we're going to take a look and see what happens when we plug this in. This may be up. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're looking at 11.65, 11.6 6 volts. We're looking at 23 and a half amps, <clears throat> and as you can see, that stuff is pretty funky looking. Still putting out a good amount of gas, uh, it's sucking some amperage, that's for sure, because we're down to 11 point, about 11.5. It's putting out uh, a fair amount of fair. Uh, Wow. We're getting... Whoa, this is different. I guess it's foaming up so much that it's uh, coming through the, uh, the gas tube. So obviously the, uh, this denature alcohol solution expands or has created so much foam uh, that stuff is just steady pouring out. I mean, that's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but let me put my finger for the reference. Look at that. It's just filling this thing up with foam. I mean, look at how much it's gone from my finger in just a few seconds. Uh, wow. I don't know if I want to light those that foam. <laughs> I don't think so. That's definitely something that uh, we might want to look at if your system, because I've never had, I've never had my cell when it's filled up uh, foam up so much that uh, that it pours out foam like that. Usually, I've measured this out to two liters, so there's two liters of water, and there's enough. Uh, I've never had it foam over like that. Uh, so that's an interesting, uh, an interesting uh, aspect of this denatured alcohol. Yeah, it seems to have uh, subsided. I guess the uh, cell threw up or burped up all the uh, the foam that it needed to. Still, the production's kind of. It's not a steady stream of bubbles. It's. Uh, Now it's getting back to normal. But 
Man, that was a lot of water. Because it was like down to here. And it just burped up all that stuff. Let me see if I can get a close-up shot. I mean, that looks like the foam on an orange Julius. So, yeah, it looks like it's burped up its... Well, maybe not. <laughs> I was going to say, I think there's more. See how explosive this is. and 27.91 seconds. Okay. So it's putting out, putting out some good gas, that's for sure. Um, but anyway, I thought you might want to take a look at that. The extreme dark color. <laughs> the, in other words, the uh, the pea colored solution that we had the other day and then we let it sit overnight after running it for an hour it turns out to like uh, I don't know some really yucky looking solution and with a ton of foam and you can see the water level uh, the foam looks like that top of an orange Julius or something so I just thought y'all might want to see that and look at how much I mean we can look the water level was here was here on the cell you can tell the ring of all that nasty gunk of uh, two liters and yeah a lot of foam a lot of water went through the uh, through the gas out tube and again that stuff is just kind of nasty remember my cell was wrapped with a yellow heat shrink uh, so that's like part of the reason but uh, again that's just really dark so that's the other test so I wanted you to take a look at it and yeah a lot of foam a lot of foam I've never had any cell uh, foam up that bad and go through the gas out tube so if you're using this stuff this denatured alcohol solution uh, keep that in mind because if that much again look at that if that much goes out from your cell through your gas out tube and goes into your bubbler that could that could put enough liquid through your bubbler that it would pass through into your engine and we know what uh, NaOH and KOH does to aluminum parts it eats it up and I mean it's not good at all so uh, that's what we found out so if you're using this denatured alcohol solution um, be careful I mean you saw it here that foam is a problem that's for sure uh, and uh, we're going to try some other stuff. So it does, I guess after a while, after it mixes and after it gets used and circulated and goes through the electrolysis process, I still don't know why it comes out brown. Um, has something to do with the cold, I think, and the other properties of the denatured alcohol that are impurities. Because um, we saw in the frozen cell uh, with just electrolyte, it turned brown as well. So uh, that's kind of interesting. But anyway, uh, that's it. Take care. God bless. And we'll catch you later.